Let us all be intentional about the demographic segment, the elderly. They are the bridge between the present and the future. They hold a lot of knowledge and experience that needs to be passed to the youth who make up most of Africa's demographic dividend. The elderly are the custodians of our identity and culture, which needs to be passed from one generation to another in each nation, community, and family. This will enable us to safeguard and uphold our values and stay true to who we are. As we gather here today, let us commit ourselves to action. Let us collaborate across borders, governments, and organizations to ensure that every woman, man, and child in Africa has the chance to lead a healthy and prosperous life. I challenge each of us to take this message to our communities and nations advocate for policies that prioritize the well-being of families. Let us lead by example, encouraging conversations about these important topics, reducing the stigma, and equipping women and men so that they can make informed choices that are best for themselves and their families. In Kenya, in an effort to reach communities at the grassroots, the government has invested heavily on community health promoters an essential component of the healthcare system, particularly in rural and underserved areas. These individuals are community members who receive training to provide essential health education, preventive care, and support health services to their communities. Their work contributes to improved health outcomes, increased healthcare access, and greater awareness of health issues within communities. They are tasked with providing information and education on health and nutritional during their once a month visits to homes in their localities. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, healthcare aligns perfectly with the Waflad 2023 unifying campaign dubbed We Are Equal. As women leaders on this continent, we must wholeheartedly embrace the cause of healthcare and champion it with unwavering resolve. Due to family planning or lack of it, Sub-Saharan Africa today faces various challenges such as high mortality rate, malnutrition, food insecurity, and a youth bulge. The 2022 Kenya Demographic Health Survey shows an improvement in, men, in many health indicators. The mortality rate among infants and children under five declined from 61 deaths per 1,000 life births in 1989 to 32 deaths per 1,000 in 2022. Additionally, the total fertility rate, TFR, declined to 3.4 per woman from 3.9 in 2014 and 8.1 in 1978. According to the 2020 State of Kenya Development Report by National Council on Population Development, the decline in TFR can be attributed to an, increased, an increase in contraceptive use, which rose to 58% in 2014 from 39.3% in 2003 amongst married women. Health is not just a basic human right, it is the very bedrock upon which our families, societies, and nations are built. Access to quality health care, including family planning and good nutrition, can transform communities, elevate poverty, and drive economic development. We must acknowledge the connection of these critical issues. When women have the ability to plan their families, they can make informed choices about their health, education, and economic participation. This empowerment, this empowerment not only benefits individual women, but also ripples through families, communities, and entire nations. Let us be the champions of holistic health, economic prosperity, and be and the well-being of our families, both as individuals and as a collective force. Our roles as mothers, wives, and leaders compel us to advocate for comprehensive health care services that encompass prenatal and maternal care, nutrition, education, and access to contraceptives.
Kenya has a very youthful population. The 2019 Kenya National Bureau of Statistics population census indicates that 75% of the population is under the age of 35. Demographic dividend represents the opportunities and potential economic benefits that can be realized when this youthful population enters the workforce and contributes to economic growth. Our countries must create conducive conditions, including investments in education, healthcare, job creation, and policies that promote economic development. This requires substantial efforts in infrastructure development, government reforms, and private sector growth. In 2017, Kenya developed a demographic dividend roadmap to guide in making strategic investments in health, education, and training, economic and governance sectors. All this is aimed at ensuring that we utilize the potential of the young people, enabling the acceleration for social economic development, which will lead to a better quality of life for all.